What's good everyone, in my previous video, I gave you a rundown on appointment setting and how it can totally transform your earning potential. Today, we're gonna to be taking that a step further. Instead of just talking about it, I'm actually gonna show you how it's done. And I'm gonna see if I can make $1,000 in one week starting from zero by appointment setting. That's right, from nothing to a thousand bucks just from appointment setting. I know it sounds like a lot, especially starting a completely new hustle from scratch, but I'm here to show you that with the right method and strategy, anyone can pull this off, not just me. In this video, I'm gonna take you along my week journey of appointment setting. You'll see the steps I take, the challenges I face, and exactly how much I end up making at the end of the week. So if you wanna know how much you could make in a week by appointment setting, this is the perfect chance to find out. What exactly is appointment setting? Now, for those of you that don't understand appointment setting, let's first discuss exactly what this thing is. You might have heard of people like Iman Gadzi, Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, and Ty Lopez. They're famous is for teaching people lots of valuable stuff online. But when it comes to buying their high-end courses or their advice, you can't just click and buy. Their stuff is a high ticket offer. It's called a high ticket offer because it's expensive. And you usually need to talk to someone first that assists you in the sale process. That's where appointment setters come into play. Think of appointment setters as the friendly helpers who arrange the meetings between the experts and the people who might wanna buy what they're offering. Before someone can talk to a sales expert known as a high ticket closer, they need to chat with an appointment setter, like what I just tried to be for a week. Now I'm going to be becoming an appointment setter and starting on a new offer for seven days. And I'm excited to take you all in this experience with me. I'll show you how I set appointments, the tricks of the trade, and most importantly, how much you can actually earn doing this. So how do we start? Well, the first important step is to hop onto a business owner's account and line up as many sales calls as possible. For every call that ends in a sale, you earn a commission, somewhere between five and 10% on average. On average, it takes about 30 minutes to set up a call. That means in about four hours, you could essentially set up around eight calls. Now, let's say you managed to book five in that time. Out of those five, three potential customers actually show up to the call and one actually goes through to buy what is being sold. If that product or service sells for about $5,000, just by sending a few DMs and setting up that call, you've made $250 or $500 depending on the commission percentage. That's just from one closed deal. If you do this every day for a month, sticking to these numbers, you could be looking at making $7,500 a month. It's pretty amazing, right? This week, I'll take you through my daily appointment setting routine, show you how I reach out to potential leads and share the outcome of those efforts. You'll get to see everything firsthand and learn how feasible it is to make good income as an appointment setter. Step one is all about finding a company that offers high ticket items. These could be in areas like mindset coaching, fitness, business, wealth management, travel, you name it. The market is brimming with coaches and courses, but not all are created equal. So how do we pick the best ones? We need to set some specific criteria to help us choose between a potentially great opportunity and a dud. Now let's lay out what makes a company worth our time. The industry. First off, we wanna focus on companies in the e-learning industry. Why? Because it's booming. It's the future of learning and business, and it allows you to work and earn from anywhere in the world. The potential here is huge. Next, credibility and proof. The second thing to look at is whether the company is well established. Does it have good testimonials? Can you see solid results from their clients? A strong following on social media and good interaction with their posts can also tell you a lot about their credibility and proof of concept. Next, growth and earnings potential. Lastly, check if there's room for growth within the company. Are there people in there making the kind of money that you're aiming to earn or even more? That's a good sign that there's potential for you too. Now, finding links. Now, how do we actually find these companies? Grab your phone because I'm about to show you how to exactly go about it. We'll look at different social media platforms, check Check out websites and see how to identify the signs that tell us a company is worth our effort. So to start, you need to have a professional looking Instagram. Why? Because it's your business card in the digital world. It needs to be clear from your bio, your posts, your stories, and your reels. It needs to show what you do and that you're a real trustworthy person. Imagine trying to reach out to someone with a blank profile or no follow account. It just wouldn't work, right? Now, once I've picked a niche, could be mindset, e-commerce, or whatever else, I hop onto Instagram, I simply search for mindset coach, and bang, I'm hit with tons of potential clients all who likely sell high ticket offers. I look for coaches with at least 20,000 followers and evidence that they deliver good results to their clients, like client testimonials that are visible on their page. This is super important because it means that they need appointment setters for. The next step, I send a personal message. Here's a tip, always start by saying you followed them for a while and you admire what they're doing. I make it more personal by also sending a video message, introducing myself as an experienced appointment setter, offering to help them book more appointments. I share some examples of my past work and the results I've achieved to really showcase my value. Also, I don't have to stop there. I repeat this process about 50 to 100 times a day. Yes, it sounds like a lot, but it's necessary to cast a wide net. And usually within the first few days, I start getting responses. And when you get a response from someone interested in your services and they like the look of your work, the next step is crucial, discussing your commission. Typically, you can negotiate a commission anywhere between five and 10%, depending on the products or services that you'll be appointment setting for. It's super important to have this conversation early to ensure that both sides know what to expect and agree on the terms. This way, you can kick off your work knowing exactly how much you'll earn from each deal that closes the earning. 
Now, back to my week as an appointment setter. After setting everything straight about my commission rates and getting the green light, I dove into the task at hand. The more clients you grab, the more opportunities you have to earn. It's all about maximizing your reach and efficiency. This morning, after getting some responses and finalizing the commission terms, I spent the first few hours of my day lining up as many sales calls as possible. Then I took a quick break, got to keep the energy up right. When I came back, I was told that the first call that I had set had been closed, which essentially means my first commission pay. Here's a quick rundown of what happened next. In the past two days, I managed to schedule five calls. Out of those, three people showed up, and yes, one of them closed on a $6,000 package. That netted me $300 commission right there. Not only that, but I lined up six more calls for the coming days. Fast forward to day five. Out of 10 calls, eight people showed up, and three went through with their purchase. While these weren't full payments, every bit adds up, even on a payment plan. So far, I've earned about $500. It's a promising start and it's definitely a step in the right direction. Remember, $500 in just five days, that's the potential here if you're dedicated. When I first started, I made $600 in my first week, which really set the pace for what's possible in this line of work. Yesterday, I got a deal on a $2,000 payment plan, which will pay me out $100 over the next three months, bringing my total to $600 so far. I'm now just $400 short of my $1,000 goal, with two days left in this challenge. With another 10 calls set up recently, I'm hopeful at least one will let me hit or even exceed my target. Over the last couple of days, I managed to book in seven more calls. Out of those, five people actually showed up. Two ended up not making it, but that's part of the game. Now for the exciting part. One of those calls closed and it closed pretty big. A $6,000 sale, full payment upfront. That added another $300 to my total commissions. So at the end of this one week challenge, I've made a total of $900. Now, $900 might not sound like a huge amount of money, but remember, I was only working for a few hours each day. Not even. This shows you can realistically make an extra $1,000 every week while still going to school or working another job. In fact, when I started, I was juggling this with my full-time job. And just like this week, I was making between six and $900, which eventually allowed me to quit my job and focus on sales full-time. Here's a little tip on how I keep improving. After each week of appointment setting, I review everything. I look over the conversations, especially noticing who didn't respond and who did, analyze what worked in successful calls versus what didn't. This helps me figure out how to be more effective and book even more calls. Now, if you're interested in becoming an appointment setter and eventually moving up into high ticket sales, it's all about mastering the basics, finding the right clients and ensuring the offers are top quality. And if you're actually serious about taking your appointment setting game to the next level, we strongly recommend booking a call with one of our team members. We'll be happy to walk you through the entire process and answer any questions you might have and provide you with personalized guidance and support. Don't hesitate to reach out. Our community is here to help you succeed as an appointment setter. So if you're ready to join a private community and surround yourself with people like me, there's a link in the description to book a call with my team. I'll see you on the other side. And don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe to stay in the loop. Cheers.